Good day to you and welcome back to another video from SeeMyCampsite.com. My name is Adam Groves and today we're exploring Rockport State Park in the always lovely state of Utah. Rockport State Park is located about 40 minutes east of Salt Lake City and only about 25 minutes away from beautiful Park City. Rockport first opened its doors back in 1966 and it sits in an elevation of about 6,000 feet. It's a certified international dark sky place. So if you're into stargazing, this is a phenomenal place to do that. Dogs are welcome here, but they do need to be leashed and picked up after. That's just good etiquette and helps keep things clean. So make sure you're doing that. Common animals to see here include mule deer, chipmunks, jackrabbits, marmots, foxes, and plenty of you into ground squirrels. One thing to note, in this state park, they do have gates which close each night at 11 p.m. and then open back up at 6 a.m. So keep that in mind if you're out and about late into the evening. One unique feature of Rockport State Park is they actually have a really cool 3D archery range that's included in your entrance or camping fee. So if you wanna channel your inner Robin Hood or simply want to sharpen up on target practice, this is the spot for you. Note that you do need to bring your own bow and arrows for this, and they've got multiple archery stations for you to choose from. Another unique feature of Rockport State Park is a historic old church that was built by the Rockport settlers back in 1892. Previously used for church services, it's since been restored and is commonly used for community events, wedding receptions, and marriages. You can rent this building, which holds up to 90 people. And there's also a campground group site just outside the church to accommodate larger parties overnight if needed. We'll include a link in the description below if you'd like to see more information about that. Water sports are plentiful here and include boating, jet skiing, tubing, water skiing, paddle boarding, kayaking, and of course, plenty of swimming. And if you like to fish, you can try your hand at landing lots of different species, including largemouth and smallmouth bass, kokanee salmon, yellow perch, rainbow trout, and even brown trout. And hey, hey where are those life jackets, jackets huh? huh? Don't, Don't make me come, come up there to remind you. you. Look, I'll turn this video right around. If... <clears throat> Sorry, that's force of habit. Just be careful, okay? Also, if you're bringing any watercraft, make sure it's clean and decontaminated. No one wants those quagga mussels or other aquatic hitchhikers ruining the ecosystem. Rockport does have a decontamination area on site, so make sure you use it prior to launching into the reservoir. If you find our videos helpful, you can help our project out by liking and subscribing. This will help us keep producing more videos for you in the future. All right, let's talk camping. Rockport State Park has six different campgrounds with over 100 combined sites and day use areas offering a blend of mostly primitive, but also some partial hookup campsites. They do offer a dump station on site here, so use that if you need it. And most of these campgrounds border the reservoir, so keep that in mind as well as you're making your plans. In this video, we'll explore the following six campgrounds. Cottonwood Campground, offering 20 primitive campsites. Pinery Campground, offering four tent-only sites. Crandall Cove Campground, offering 10 primitive campsites. Twin Coves Campground, offering 24 primitive campsites. Juniper Campground, offering 34 campsites with partial hookups. Riverside Campground, offering 24 primitive campsites. And finally, we'll give you a brief overview of four group sites, including Hawthorne, Crandall, Lariat, and Cedar Point. With that said, I'm ready to go if you are. Let's do it. All right, first stop is Cottonwood Campground. Cottonwood Campground offers 20 primitive campsites, each with a picnic table, fire pit, and barbecue grill. There are pit toilets available here, as well as three water access points, but no electrical power. Some sites are located really close to the water, so keep that in mind if you're bringing some little ones with you. Let's jump to the individual campsites so you can find out what will work best for you.
Next stop is Pinery Campground. Pinery is a tent only campground offering four sites, each with a pavilion, picnic table, fire pit, barbecue, and grass to pitch a tent. These sites are pretty close to the reservoir and overlaps a bit with the day use sites. Pit toilets and water are available, but there is no power to be found in this area either. Parking is close by, however, and you should be able to find a spot so it shouldn't be too hard getting your gear to your selected site. Let's show you a quick look at those campsites so you can get a better idea of what to expect. Next up is Crandall Cove Campground. Crandall Cove offers 10 primitive campsites, with site number one being a walk-in tent site. These sites also border the reservoir, so keep that in mind if you're bringing along any little ones. The campsites here each have a pavilion, picnic table, fire pit, and barbecue. And for sites two through 10, you will find two pit toilets, as well as three water access points nearby. And again, no electrical power is found in this area. Let's jump to those campsites so you can find out what will work best for you. Our next campground is called Twin Coves. Here you'll find 24 campsites, each with a pavilion, picnic table, fire pit, and barbecue. There are five water access points spread throughout this campground, as well as two pit toilets, and again, no electricity, as these are primarily primitive sites. Let's show you some visuals of what these campsites look like so you have a better idea of what will work best for you.
Now it's time to jump over to Juniper Campground. Juniper is unique from the other campgrounds at Rockport as it offers 34 partial hookup sites, including power and water, as well as flush bathrooms and showers. Some campsites border the reservoir here, while others don't, but each site should come equipped with a pavilion, picnic table, fire pit, and barbecue. Some sites here are classified as double sites, so bring your friends or extended family as this is a perfect spot to get one of those epic UNO tournaments started. Let's give you a quick visual tour of what each of these campsites has to offer. Our last campground stop is known as Riverside Campground, and this is located just below Rockport Dam. Riverside Campground offers 25 primitive campsites, including a pit toilet, picnic table, fire pit, barbecue grill, and it does also offer two water access points. Most sites here have a good amount of grass and room to spread out, and the Weber River also flows out of the dam here allowing access to trout fishing for you anglers out there. Also, remember that old church building we talked about at the start of this video? This is the area where you'll find that in case you're interested in renting it. Curious to see what these campsites look like? Let's show you some visuals right now so you have a better idea of what to expect.
Finally, let's give you a brief tour of the four group sites located within this state park. First up is Hawthorne Group Site, offering a fire pit, picnic table, pavilion, barbecue, and pit toilets, but no power. This area accommodates up to 75 people with up to 30 places to park your cars if you need it. Next up is Crandall Group Site, which accommodates up to 40 people with parking for 15 cars. Here, you'll find a pit toilet, pavilion, picnic tables, a barbecue, fire pit, and access to water. In high water years, you'll find that this group site will be right up against the reservoir. The next reservable group site is Lariat, which, like Crandall group site, accommodates up to 40 people and 15 vehicles. Here, you'll find a pit toilet, water, pavilion, fire pit, barbecue, and you should have a power outlet located within the pavilion as well. And the last stop with the group sites is Cedar Point. This is among the newer of the group sites and is currently a first come, first serve group site. Most people we've talked to will tell you that you'll find the best beaches in this area, but keep in mind there is currently no pavilion offered, so you'll want to bring your own canopies or other accessories for shade. Finally, we looked into cellular service and Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile each appear to have good coverage according to their service maps. If you find you're having problems with service though, you're only 25 minutes away from the outskirts of Park City to get back online. Woo, we covered a lot. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Rockport is a beautiful state park in Utah. So if you love the rustic outdoors, this one shouldn't disappoint and we recommend putting it on your list if you're traveling in Utah. We'll include links in the description below for the most up-to-date fees and reservation details for reserving these sites. Comment below on campgrounds you'd like us to cover next and if you found this content helpful, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel so we can continue producing videos for all of you awesome campers out there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video from seemycampsite.com.